All right, so now that we are back in a two-party state, just kidding, we're in a one-party state. <laughs> just kidding, I don't actually know how internet rules apply to that. We're going to see if the bot stopped crapping itself. Please. That's a Please. What should I play here? Let's I don't hear any music. Let's just play this again. Oh, nice. Absolutely. Oh, now I you hear should, it. You should absolutely be there for fellow music. Um, we're not doing that because of where they are. So, uh, Merim Show and Merim Show and uh, Tara roll a one to ten against each other. Uh, okay. Uh. All right, Tara. Wake up first. You wake up first. You are in a damp cell. Uh, all of your gear has been taken away. And there is a dead Tengu in the corner of the cell. It looks like it died from starvation. The uh, bar door is right here. Hey, it's a barred door. She can get through it. <laughs> what would you like to do? Good, good fucking question. You do not recover any spell slots. But how much HP does okay. she have? Okay. The same amount of HP that she did when she went unconscious. Just kidding. That's impossible. Um, roll half of your hit dice. Uh, what's half of seven? In the Round up. All right, uh, that's really shitty. You have eight, fourteen. You have seventeen health, and three, Not even and three remaining hit dice. Oh, you also have the lasting wound, so you have 15 feet of movement, and you automatically fail strength, dex, and con saving throws. Best save from that? You're good. You also don't have any equipment. Best save from that? You're good. Well, let's uh, poke at the Tengu, see if there's anything useful here. Well, you can always eat it if they forget to feed you. Roll investigation. Uh, it's very dead. There doesn't have any equipment. Looks like it was stripped as well. Well, I'm not surprised they'd throw me in here. Rattle the doors. Rattle the doors. Uh, you hear a voice yep. coming from this direction. Shut up. Oh, hello. Uh, you hear footsteps walking away. Walk up to the door. This isn't. Yeah. Okay, uh. Do you have dark vision? Magical dark vision. Great, so you actually see, uh. There's a cell across the way. 
can't see very far into it though. And then there's uh, another path that goes this way. Wow. Silly me. Here I am thinking I'd drive them all away single handedly. Yes, this is my punishment, huh? This is not the correct music. Never thought I'd be in this. Don't have any. Don't have any gear I can use. Looks like I'm just gonna wait for a chance. Can you use Can you use the wall as makeshift percussion? Like bang, like drum your hands or something, and do a spell. Uh, no, she needs an instrument as a casting focus. Well, I might not, but it looks like I might as well be. Oh, we got out. Is this also wall? This is good. Um, yeah, that is also wall. Okay, it looks like it leads out, so... Nope, you'll know if it leads this out. This is how it is. Lead out. Fair. Not usually the praying type, but it's all I. I'll find my solace. And hey, so if I it? die, I'll be here with Koga and Reika. Hope they saved me a spot in hell. So you're waiting. Yep. All right. Um, if you're just waiting, then it, it's actually irrelevant. Let's roll. In an hour, you wake up, Maram Show. So, uh, do you want to sleep, Terror, or are you staying conscious? Let's stay conscious. Okay. She's actually praying for a change. I whisper, bro. Uh, so. Madam Show, when you wake up, all of your belongings have been stripped from you, and you have, uh, except for a bracelet, but it's not a bracelet that you normally wear. Hmm. Maybe it's some sort of magic inhibiting thing? Uh, it's a magical inhibiting thing. What, ma what, what material is it made of? Uh, it seems to be some sort of iron with uh, emolite threads through it. All right, so I whisper, no. No response. I try to feel her through my bond. She is currently not summoned. I try to summon her. The bracelet glows and you are unable to summon her. Go up to the bars. And uh, do you have dark vision? Yep. Alright, you see... Roll investigation with disadvantage because it's dim light. Okay. You see an indistinct figure sitting behind another pair of bars across the way. Tara, is that you? 
Tara, you hear me, I'm sure. Well, nice to know you didn't get out either. They were going to kill us, but I surrendered. Paid me back for rescuing me, I see. But, hmm. look at you now. In a cell. I don't know. Do you have any idea? I have this bracelet on my arm that's keeping me from doing magic. From doing magic. If I was able to get it off, I, I don't know what I'd be able to do without my staff. But at least I'd be able to summon Ro. Well, you might. Well, emeralds are pretty tough materials. A material component. Let me check. You guys can just keep keep role playing. Um, the material component, if you don't have a staff, is some charcoal, incense, and herbs. So, without your staff, you need to find some of that. There is some charcoal around. So, you would just I, need some incense. Do I have anything that has pockets? Um, not really, no. You're, well, you're still dressed in your clothes, actually. It seems like okay. the latent magic of your clothes is being re uh, repressed by the bracelet, though. Tara, well, I find a pocket your clothes, and, you and don't stuff have a, a handful of charcoal in, just in case I come across the right herbs or something. Great. You never know. Tara, you're still wearing your clothes. I don't know if they're magical, but if they are, it's not being inhibited. <laughs> you never got a chance to do that. Okay, you're just wearing your clothes then. One second. They'll do a lot of things, but they will not make our protagonists unrecognizable. <laughs> so, is there anyone else around here? I think you have to be right back. Yes, I will be right back. Can I use my reactions with a with an anti magic bracelet? Uh, do they require magic? Mm, probably. Are you talking about Misty Escape? Yeah. Uh, Misty Escape comes from Chicago, so you can. If I won't leave you behind, I won't have another friend killed in front of me. One of the reasons that Maram show is really regretting not having Bro here is because if it was, she could have a private conversation with Tara. But they're shouting through their door cells, so they can't exactly talk about escape. <sighs> Alright, so here's the plan. When the guard is distracted, you sneak up behind... <laughs> I apologize, I'm back. You could just speak, like, Japanese. And kill yourself. No, as in, you can speak Japanese. What, these- these chuckle fucks learned Japanese before the game here? Also, that's true. Uh, you both do know Elvish. So, right. Kiro's back. You know, I'm almost- this is almost certain to fail, but you never know when you're going to get a crit. I'm gonna try to break the bracelet. Uh, you break the bracelet. Dang! You just tap into a, a well of strength you didn't know you had. And you combined with your teeth in your hand, you just you, you get it off. I take, you find I the take leather the... sinews that were attaching the iron and the and the arid and the uh, emolite and. Uh... Okay, I experimentally take the broken bracelet and. Hold the sinews together and put it over my wrist and see if, see if it still does anything. Did you try to cast anything? Um, can I cast without a focus? I don't think you can cast much without a focus. Eldritch Blast. 
<sighs> you can always cast. Uh, yep, verbal and somatic. You can cast Eldritch Blast. Okay. Well, I'm going to try casting a very small Eldritch Blast. But first, I'm going to go over here. It doesn't Hope work. That... Not with the bracelet. Okay. So I take the bracelet and I slip it in my pocket and have to put it on again and pretend. Alright. So. Wait. You know, I don't think that. Minor Illusion has somatic and materials. Um. Pull the Dead has. Verbal and somatic. Um, is this like straw or something? Yeah. I'm going to root through it and try to see if I can find anything that might substitute it. Roll investigation with disadvantage. It is dim light. Okay. Uh, you managed to find a piece of straw advantage. that if you were really careful with it, you may be able to use to try to lockpick. Then I might as well try that. Alright, uh, roll a dexterity check. These I'm guessing no. You put it in the keyhole and it almost immediately breaks. You were not careful enough. Oh. So that's what you're going for? I, I don't know. I... I'm trying to think. Really? Well, investigation terror. You're doing the same thing. Disadvantage. Stem light. You had to, Eric. <laughs> nice. Uh, you actually, <laughs> you actually uh, find plenty of straw that you could use as lock picks. I will give you six different tries, but you'll have disadvantage on the dexterity checks because it looks like um, I should have been given giving Marim show disadvantage as well. I just forgot. Well, it doesn't matter. I don't think an 8. An 8 wouldn't have gotten anyway, so. It wouldn't have. So you can make 6 dexterity checks with disadvantage each. DC 16. All right, you make it the first time. Uh, not save, check. You just click dexterity. Oh. Whoops. So that wouldn't have made it since you can't have proficiency with dexterity checks. Do you have proficiency with sleight of hand, actually? Uh, no, but I have a five in it. Do you have proficiency with thieves tools? Nope. I have a two in sleight of hand. She has a proficiency in that. Okay, not uh, the so, tool. So you would have you would have gotten it with your sleight of hand then, from Jack of All Trades, because sixteen meets the DC and you guys win ties. So you managed to clink open your door, and you discover the rest of this corridor leading to a door. Of course. Well, at least we can have a whispered conversation now instead of a shouting one. <laughs> the door doesn't look like it was originally here. The door looks like it was placed here. It, it looks iron, and the rest of these ruins looks look old and decrepit. Worn away. Terra, <laughs> terra, terra. Look terrible. <laughs> I'm sorry. This is all my fault. My fault? 
love just stand back. Alright, you have five more tries. Wait, three more. Yep, three more. You can't win. You still grieve. You can't do this. Oh. What's that from again? Close but no cigar, huh? Well, you can win, you feel great. That's from a Dragon Ball Z bridge. Right, yeah, okay. Well, what is one it? More. I, think, I think it's actually from one of the dubs where they're like, Pickle oh, wait, just two more. that. Yeah, Pickle just says that and then Neil is there. Alright, you got it. So with the second to last one, you managed to get it open. Can you, can you turn invisible yet? Again? No, I thought... I think... Is there anyone else here? Any guards or anything? Please shut up when I rattled the bars earlier. They walked away, so we'll have to be careful regardless. I was thinking, do you think we have enough time to rest a bit that we can cast spells again? Because this we would go a lot easier. The but if they see that the doors are unlocked, then they'll lock them. And I don't know if I can find any more straw. Alright, we'll, um... Or at least not so we'll we'll we'll, hold, we'll 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 close them again and make them look. They don't swing open on their own, do they? Uh, they Kara do can. Yeah, Kara also can't get her spells back. Doesn't have an instrument. Um, Maram Show, since you functioned from a short rest, you do have your spell slots back. I can cast invisibility on both of us, but I won't. Uh, I won't have any spells left. Oh, I can't cast on her? Yeah, you can only concentrate on one person at a time, unless you have twin spell, which you don't, because you didn't multi-class. Okay. You're so good at, at finding things. Could you help me search... Could you search the straw, maybe, for something that looks kind of earth like while I try to think my spells, how best I can do this? So you walk into the room, Tara, and you immediately notice that her cell has something yours doesn't. Just like yours has something hers doesn't. What's this? Hers doesn't have a dead Tengu. But it does I have did ask what this a was. hole in the floor. I didn't hear you ask what that was. Oh. I just saw you ping it. Oh. Okay. Uh, well, yeah, I'll... that's a that's a hole in the floor. You think you could wiggle? Uh, Maram Show, you feel like you're a little too. It it would be a little too tight for you. I think it would be too tight for me. Oh. Am I skinnier or, or fatter than uh, uh, Tara? Tara is smaller than you by a good margin. If we. I could probably do. <clears throat> yeah, I had row. I need herbs. Well, I do have dark oh, vision. Oh, we've got straw. Tara has dark vision, too. Yeah, so, what do we see when we look down the hole? Uh, it looks like a tunnel going this way. I suppose if the guards are far enough away, I could widen it with an Eldritch Blast. A uh, hole, I mean. Probably not. That might detract their attention. Yeah, that would be really loud. Rattling the bars got their attention. Blowing a hole in the wall, it's going to do something a little more. Oh, yeah, definitely. but they must have walked away or else they would have us things. Alright, I'm going to try. So you go down in the hole? Yep. Right, I'm tearing my pants and making them in, and trying to make them tie them into a rope. A rope? Okay. Um, roll, uh... Roll, uh, roll, uh, roll, uh... No, I'll just let you do that. 
Um, let's, I'll say you get like 20 feet of rope. Okay. Tara, you go down in the hole. You take some of the yeah. uh, twisted pant stuff that Maram Show gave you. And you get to about here. And the rope runs out. Come back up and we'll make a rope out of your mm -hmm. clothes, too. Doesn't Tabaxi have a special thing for falling? For falling? Don't they? Yeah. Or, no, they have... They special. have a thing for climbing. Yeah, for climbing and for movement. Falling. Can she use her That's movement it. to get over her 15 feet per square, whatever? What's up? Sorry? Can she use her tabaxi thing to to get over her uh, to because she has the lasting wound and can't move very far? Can uh, she yeah, use she her can use that to go thirty feet instead of fifteen. But then she can't move if she wants to do it again. Okay. So if I double dash, I can make a case for sixty feet. You can. Um. What is is there? How how far is the drop? It's not, there's no drop. From where I'm at right now. It's, there's, there's no drop? Yeah, you no, know, okay. it's still just tunnel. It's not represented well by the map, but it continues forward. She's gonna continue. Alright, uh, so how long do you want to follow, follow the tunnel? Like a couple minutes? Alright. So eventually, Tara... You follow the tunnel, and then you find another hole above you that you climb out of. <laughs> well, since I'm here, let's see what we have. Uh, this hay is damp. You wouldn't be able to use any of it as lockpicks. Is there maybe something in there that's herb-like? <laughs> I love your single mini fixation on the summoning Rua game. Yeah, well, that would be a big help in our current situation. Go ahead she and could roll investigation, Terry, to see what you can find in the hay. With disadvantage, because it's dim light. Were you We're... expecting a needle? I'm already not going to find anything, so do I even bother? Uh, yeah, it's a whole bunch of wet hay. Okay. Hey, there's it's something you could use for a, there is something you could use for a lock pick. You're right. I know. She already failed the investigation check on that. If Madam Show wants to go investigate, no, that's her story. no. Claws. <laughs> no, I I know, but you failed the investigation check on it. I mean, I could. Yes. If yes. I was saying claws. Fuck some bearers off it. I'm I'm in the hallway and I see there's something. What the heck is that in the corner? All right, you see a dead Tengu. You go over okay. to it. Roll investigation with disadvantage. Poor thing. Uh, so this Tengu has an herbal pouch on him, and it looks like many of its wounds come from. They don't look like they would come from battle. It looks like parts of its limbs were ground up and and pulled at until they severed and yeah, torture. I say a brief prayer over the body. What's in the pouch? Uh, enough herbs for you to summon row. All right. So, can row squeeze through the bars here? Uh, you don't know. You don't even know that those bars are there. Okay. But I'm gonna send row down the tunnel. So. Okay, so you she's spend, gonna. You spend about ten minutes summoning row. Tara, what do you want to do during those ten minutes? <coughs> Excuse me. Can I try to oh, lockpick this, this with my? Of her. Uh, yeah, you have one more piece of hay left, so go ahead and roll a dexterity check with disadvantage. 
No, what about my claws? With your claws, they aren't quite long enough. That was one of the biggest prerequisites for the usual Darn. pieces of hay that you found is hay that is long enough while also taut enough. Well, here it goes then. Alright, you manage it. This one seems like it was a little ricketier. There, there seems like there's a pretty deliberate reason there was nothing in this cell. The door just wasn't as good. So you unlock the door. Ro turns invisible, by the way. Great. She chirps to let Tara know she's there, but she's invisible. And uh, you see... This. Can Maram show make the dexterity check to try to fit through the hole? Uh, if you get stuck, you're gonna die. Okay. Maybe not. You should... Oh, if she gets stuck, that's... That count as an... She can teleport. Uh, no, it wouldn't count as damage, but if you told... If you shot an Eldritch Blast through row at yourself, you could then teleport out. Um, I'll save that for now. Isn't there a mechanic just for punching yourself in the face? Uh, Ro is not summoned yet. Terra's still doing stuff for ten minutes. Uh, you're about three minutes... Three minutes through, Terra. Hmm. Gotta be something I can... Alright, whew. You're just going out, huh? With, with cat-like tread. Oh, roll stealth, then. Shit. <laughs> All right, uh, give me a second. Ooh. Ooh, you lucky. Well, that's something Ooh, new, you're, being you're, lucky. You're so lucky. Ooh, you beat it by one. All right, you hear some chanting over here. And upon going over, uh, you're drawn by the torchlight, first of all. You see a large chamber with a large northern door and a, and a big, you recognize it as a, um, as a casting circle. There are two guards protecting a door. This guy is chanting. Up here. Probably not good. Up here. Is this area. So you're going further up here? you not going to there. There is death. Okay, so you peek around the corner. And you see... This. And if you go further, he will see you. He's facing your direction. Can't do anything. Stupid. Gotta be creative here. Later climb, maybe? Why? Uh, the ceilings good. above you are about 15 feet. But if I were to be. Alright. So, Tara, what are you gonna do? You have another three ish minutes. Hmm. Let's retreat back to the cell for now. Chill there. All right, so, Ma'am Show, you can send Row through. Okay. So out pops Row, Tara. Okay. So, what's happening? So, um, are you talking to Tara through Row? Yeah. Okay. 
There's some casters summon with a summoning circle there. Up north is a guy. He was, was watching my direct. I just have my claws dangerous for me to do anything. I recommend having Ro flit up north and try and take that guy out. You've got one shot. Make it count. Is the hole... Is the hole there... Is the hole there a different size or the same size than the Same size. Okay, so I can't... So I'd have to make another check. I'm at. If you get stuck, you die. Yeah. Okay. So, you just, are you gonna... Please specify if Roe is invisible. Roe is invisible. Okay, do that, or else things are gonna happen. Okay, I thought I specified it before. Oh wait, <laughs> then you told me she wasn't summoned. Yep. Uh, so this place goes down to here, and you also see that this guy is guarding... A door. Alright, down here. You see this room. And in this room. There's this dude. You come further into the room and you see this guy and this torch. And this half. And this. Can Ro pick locks? Or attempt. Uh, not while invisible. And up here is this. What's in here? Is this so as solid door? Yeah, it's a wooden door. As Rose flying around in there, the uh, spearman sort of looks around. Then looks towards the axeman and says, Do you hear that? The axeman goes, Hmm? Spearman goes, Something. <laughs> How do I roll stealth for her? Something in the wind. Uh, you. No, no. He, he, he's smelling the incense you're burning. Ah. The axeman looks at the spearman and says, I think we should check up on them. To which the axeman responds, or the spearman responds, ah. Let's see. Is that where you want Maram Show to be? Um. Well, they're gonna open the door, aren't they? Come here and hide behind the Tengu. Like, why, if they're gonna open the door, do you want to be in melee range? Where they can immediately stab you and kill you. Okay, this is... this is out of melee. Hey. Are you, are, you okay. are you gonna prepare anything? I guarantee you, you cannot take both of them. For any kind of, like... Hey, behind the tank. Alright, so the spearman takes this torch off of the wall, opens the door, walks through. <sighs> the doors are open. The axeman goes, ah, oh, fuck it. Comes down here. Search that room. I'll su search this one. And let's get some investigation rolls. Well, Ro is prepared. I'm prepared Roll to stealth, by him. the way, Maram Show. Okay. I'm prepared to shoot him if he says anything or sees me. And Ro is prepared to bite him. Good to know. Okay. Where are we? Stealth. 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 God, I only have a ten. Well, they're both stupid. So, uh, the Axeman looks around. He doesn't even really search. He just sort of waves the torch like, Yeah, they're not here. And... Walks back up, reconvenes with the spearman, and says, Well, we can check to see if the doorway out's been picked. If not, we can just wait there for them. There's no other way, really. Can I turn myself invisible without, you know, like, them noticing? Uh, greater invisibility requires, uh, 
invisibility. Oh. It also only lasts for a minute. You want to be really careful with greater invisibility. Yeah. Um, it is, no it material. is just verbal and somatic, so you could just cast greater invisibility. I mean, are they? Depends if they're gonna if they leave the door open. Uh, so they come, they shut this door, and then they leave. Okay. Hey, Ro, could you help me try to pick this lock? What does it look like from the outside? Um, so this is not a padlock. It's a more complex lock. Looks like it needs a key. Okay. Uh, Tara, you hear some footsteps coming up here. You wanna do anything? Screech up against the wall. Just go in the hole! You guys are so bad at <laughs> stealth games. Oh my god. <laughs> no. Go, go in the hole, Tara. You go in the hole. Thank you. You're in the hole. <laughs> this guy walks in. The door opens. He looks around. Turns around. I swear we locked this. Turns around. Shuts the door. Locks the door. Comes up here. Thank you. Fuck. At least, at least Stuart and Lycan are my witnesses. <laughs> <clears throat> All right. right. Now then, how are you getting out of this? I don't know. Had. Um. I'm gonna confer with Tara. Okay, so I'm lying. They know that we're they know that we're escaped, but they didn't see me when they searched the cells. What's going on on your end? Well, I'm locked back in, and I don't have a lockpick. I figured that if you had taken the guy that I had seen around that corner, you could Rogue could have blasted them. Maybe could have opened that door, had a little bit of time, since they are in the middle. Yeah, I'm sure that he would have went there in one hit. <laughs> yeah, probably not. He could have bonked his head. <laughs> yeah, knocking but... people unconscious is a great thing in real life, it's not in Dungeons & Dragons. But, okay. as it is, it appears we're stuck. Okay, ma'am, what what are your clothes? Sorry, what? What are your clothes made of? Cloth. What's, what's your gear made of? Are you, are you wearing anything woolen? Um, let's say my underwear. That's hot. Uh, are, are you, are you going to let like, her have uh, woolen? I can't believe this question. Ask. I, are you going to Greg? let her have will and underwear, Eric? There's no sheep down here. It doesn't have to be sheep, it just has to be wool. Where does wool come from? Sheep. Fleecy animals, not necessarily sheep. Will and cloves. You can have goat wool or alpaca wool. Or... I. Where are you even going with the wool? I have no idea what you're talking about. What is the material component for minor illusions? Yeah, I didn't know that. It's um, a bit of. So if you have a bit of. By the way, that's a, that's a pun religion. component. You guys... Did you pull the wool over their eyes? Yeah. yeah. <laughs> uh, uh, God damn uh, it, uh, wizards. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, really? Color, color pulled the wool. Literally just pocket sand. <laughs> you really pulled the wool over our eyes with that one. Ah. Uh. It's great because I make. Mean, <laughs> To play with material components. I wonder if my clothes have buckles. So, you guys still have a very powerful tool in row. It's the only hint okay. I'm getting. <sighs> 
Alright, well, if you can't minor illusion, then you're gonna have to do some invisible real shenanigans. Rogue can carry things and make them invisible while she's carrying. Yes, she can. Okay. She's gonna see if any of them have keys on their belts. Alright, so she flits through the door, the bars in the door, and this guy indeed has a key that he closed the door he went through with. Alright. She's gonna wait a minute and see if he goes any separate, not in the, the others. Uh, so, as they're up here, you actually hear them talking. They're mentioning that, um, their plan is foolproof, that there's no way if they've escaped, they've already moved through here. And they're like, hey, have they come through here? And this guy's like, no, what? I didn't fall asleep. I'm good. And they're like, alright. So, if they're gonna come out, they will inevitably come through here. So we just gotta wait them out. It doesn't look like they've consulted with these people. Uh, also, hmm. there is some a barred window on this door. All right, Rose gonna check what's in there. Gonna look. Can she squeeze herself in? She cannot. But hmm. you see a whole bunch of stuff. Whole bunch of stuff. Okay. See, she has a dex of eighteen. Do you think that she'd be able to? Feed on a sleight of hand check. It would be very hard against this guy's passive perception. But you could try. So it's not it's not whether or not you're capable of taking the key. It's whether, it's whether or not he noticed. you're capable of taking the key without him knowing. <laughs> and being invisible will give you a how generous am I feeling? I don't know. How generous are you feeling? She has a stealth plus seven. Uh huh. Yeah. No. I'm. I'm seeing how invisibility interacts with it. All I can find is Pathfinder shit. Well, we don't want to be Pathfinder. Uh. Well, we might we, because Pathfinder is a plus twenty to the DC. We'd be dead if it was Pathfinder at this point. You would be dead. Uh... Invisible people have a purpose of hiding. Creatures heavily obscured. Creature's location can be detected by any noise it makes when you try to leave. Act rolls against the creature of disadvantage. So, I'm not seeing anything here, but like break visibility. Or... Hey Tara, do you still have your reroll? Mm, no, I. Used it only constitution, I think. All right. Yeah. Um. So he's gonna have. Uh. He's gonna contest it with an active perception roll, and it's gonna have disadvantage. So go ahead and roll sleight of hand. And the reason for this is because as soon as Ro, <laughs> as soon as Ro touches the key, it's going to turn invisible. Uh. Why do you have? Why do you have? Why did you roll twice? You said with disadvantage. No, he has disadvantage on his perception check. Oh. If someone elects to give you a reroll. How about I elect to do that since, you know, I don't have anything else to do this session? Great. You do that. See, okay. Let's see what you got, Spearman. Uh, public rolls? Yeah, yeah. sure. Public. Hey! <laughs> Alright, Ro gets the key. Alright. That's the key to this door, yeah? Yes. Okay. Okay, I'll good. Unlock it. You unlock the door. Be very... Alright. Uh, you inform Tara. Tara, you want to come back through? Yeah. Okay. Huh. So, we're Thank gonna goodness. stay to the shed. So, there's a room. <sighs> if only I had 
those lovely cinnamon rolls. I would be up to... Although, you look bad enough that I don't think... Yeah, Tara looks awful. She is walking with a very severe limp. Um, you can tell that she's got some pretty intense pain in her lower torso, around her abdomen area, left side. I'm going to do a medicine check, even though it probably won't do any good. Uh, it, go ahead and roll. But just... Uh, the axe wounds from earlier that she took, they look like they were pretty bad. Even Can though I do the, anything the about surface, it? The surface has been stitched up, but there's probably residual damage underneath. You can't really do anything about internal bleeding. Okay, walk on my shoulder. Lean on my shoulder. If I must. If only there was some way we could lure them in one by one. Well, we do have a row in the form of a. I am going to let you know there that unarmed and with very few resources. Well, he's in Cersei, so yeah, I'll be. Good. Even one okay. of them is probably a bad idea because all they have to do. Is show and be the rest of All right. I can go invisible. Did you mention something about uh, a stash? If, if we could yes. get. The thing is that I can. I can teleport myself once. If I hurt myself, but I can only do it once in a while. So you can also only do it to a place you can see. Oh. <laughs> and I can yep. also only do it to a place I can see. Does seeing it through Rose eyes count? Yes. So if I will right. admit I did not design this place with the intention of you guys having an exit. <laughs> so any ingenuity you come up with is completely separate from me. I just put shit in here, and you have to deal with it. Okay. Okay. Can Ro, can Ro roll an investigation check to try to identify what's in? Yeah. Go ahead. This uh, th this room's actually better lit, so you don't have disadvantage. Okay. Investigation check is modifier. Um, is intelligence. Well, you can look through her eyes and roll investigation. Yeah, well, we both have plus two. It's the same anyway. Okay. Uh, it looks like a whole bunch of other stuff, but you do see some of your equipment. Notably, you see um, Terra's loot. You don't see Erixil. Uh, you see your staff. You see uh, a collection of foreign-looking weapons. You see... Uh, some rations, you see some potions, and then you see all the other miscellaneous shit that was in your inventory in addition to some... Is the, is the Ramoy for, for Lorne Blade in there? Uh, yeah. I'm going to... You know, I probably should have done this from the beginning. I'm gonna send a mental shout out to Chiharu. Saying, you know, basically, by the way, we're captured by... Really bad guys did we don't have our stuff and do you have any good ideas? You do not feel that connection. What about What about your path guy? The, the elephant. Geki can go. Alright. I'm gonna call out to send out a mental shout out to Geki Kenko. Geki Kenko. The connection is present. So what do you say? I say Hello? Geki- Master Geki Kento? No. It has been some time. I Indeed. We have gotten ourselves into serious- And I was- Uh, take advice from some of your wisdom. Well, I, uh... I don't know what the situation is, so I cannot 
unfortunately conjure up advice with any relevancy. I, I do have some uh, proverbs that I can just pull from if you'd like some of those. I uh, can tell you what the situation is. The early bird gets the... Oh, sure. Um, <laughs> we were captured by... We were captured by the foreigners. And... The foreigners. Are, yes, the ones... The ones that... The generals that have been making war on, on the island. Excuse me? Yes. Is this in Anshin? No, this is in Ramui. This is in Omanatue, Mary. I mean, sorry. This is in Omanatue. Alright. What are you doing all the way over there? Um, right now, we're in a dun- we're trying to escape from a dungeon without getting killed. Dear. How- hmm. Have you taken your vitamins? I haven't had a chance to. But with the being captured and almost killed. It's unfortunate. You may be suffering from a vitamin D deficiency. Well, uh... I would advise you to uh, avoid conflict. It's likely that you being in the heart of their territory makes combat very disadvantageous to you. But it does also sound like they're very disagreeable people. Yes, indeed. So, uh, do your best. And... Uh, I know someone that knows Plane Shift, but I wouldn't be able to get to them for another three or four days. So it could be weeks before I can come rescue you. If, if nothing else, that may have to be the backup plan. It may, although now that we've escaped, I think they would kill us rather than take us captive wait, again. Wait, you've, es you've escaped? We're, we escaped from the cells, but we're in the dungeons. And there are several guards in the corridors, and they have weapons, nasty. And our stuff is in a room that is locked, and we don't know how to open it without attracting their attention. They're standing in front of it. Huh. Have you tried tricking them into opening the door? Hmm. That might indeed be a good idea. Thank you for your wisdom, Master. Well, good luck. Don't, Thank you. Don't, don't get yourself killed. I will do my best not to. <laughs> oh, and uh, when you have the chance, make a pilgrimage down to Ishikimusho if you would like to further right. your path. Okay, what do you want to do? Check to see if my underwear is made with wool. It's not. <laughs> Did I remember to wear it? I'm not letting you today? go, Commando. <laughs> okay, Sarah, but do it's... you have any items of clothing that have wool? There's no fucking way someone living in the <laughs> desert would have wool underwear. What about the? What about the tang? What about the tango? Is the tango wearing woolen clothes? Uh, the tango actually does have fur. Shit. Alright. So go get that. A thousand pardons. We do not wish to desecrate you further. Alright, roll investigation. Is that crit recent? No, it's not. Okay. Fifteen, you get one use of minor illusions worth of it. Alright. Row? Cast the knocking... Cast a knocking spell from about this distance. You're casting the knock spell, or you're casting a knocking sound? A knocking sound. Okay. Wait, Ro wait, Ro can throw her voice? Well, it's it's. I can do spells through her, and it says that minor, yeah, minor illusion, illusion can be done can within range. Holy crap! If you can do that, then make make your voice come from behind the door. You can also change what the voice sounds like. Have it going off into the distance, like running away and they'll open the door to go chase you. Okay, Stuart? Oh, that is a Stuart? good idea. 
Stuart, you are not in the dungeon. I'm not letting you do that, Madam Joe. All right, fine. <laughs> but yes, it would have worked. All right, so uh, the sound in there. Mm-hmm. Uh, the spearman picks up on it first. Hmm? Knock, knock, knock! What was that? He goes to look inside. Is the knock the only part of the minor illusion you want? Um, knock and the appearance that something is scrabbling in the pile. Like, maybe things shifting slightly. Hey! And the spearman opens the door with his foot, and then... And Rose invisibly slips in. Okay. And charges in, and he just starts stabbing into the pile. Is high good or bad? I'm going to. I'm going. To, let's just say that high is good. Okay. All right. Uh, he stabs into the pile repeatedly, and then sort of looks and... perplexed. This guy comes over and like, "Hey, are you okay?" And he's like, "Clearly, I'm hearing something." Walks back and out to here, this guy goes back out to here, but he leaves the door open. Okay. So Rose gonna gather up stuff. Alright, it all turns invisible with her. Alright, so first she's gonna start with the arcane focus and... Uh, okay, and it's, it's gonna take uh, about ten trips for you to get all your equipment back, but you can get all your equipment back. Alright. Good girl, Rose. Good girl. What else is in there besides Remind our equipment? Me to give you um, a treat, bro. It looks like just the tattered clothes of uh, some yokai. You see, actually, some. Are any of them wool? Mm, you don't need wool. You have your casting focus. <laughs> All right. Uh, you do see uh, some clothes and armor and weapons from Wood Ninja. Did you take any of that? Yes. Okay, uh, roll of, is high good or bad? Good. Oh! Holy <laughs> shit! It, it happened. You get, you get, you, you, uh, so in the pile, Ro digs very deep, and then all of a sudden finds a face, and a single finger rises up and presses itself to the lips of the face before receding back down. There is a wood ninja in the pile of equipment. <laughs> you help us and we help you. I am glad that the dragon speaks. I am also glad that I can somehow see the uh, invisible dragon. <laughs> Mara, lean on my shoulder. Come with me. Try to get close. All right. So, um, are you are you strong I'm enough? To... How strong are you? This is in whispers. She's though. literally crippled, Madam Show. No, I'm asking. Oh, the wood ninja. ninja? Uh, uh, yeah, I was he, about to say Terry just gives a flat look. He raises his hand and, using his fingers, imitates the flexing motion of one's arms. I'm... How many guards do you think you can kill if if I back you up? I think that I can be a formidable distracting force. Are you alone, small dragon? Um, the dragon is my familiar, actually. I'm a warlock. That explains and I... why you sound like a person, and not a dragon. I have a friend here, but she's badly injured, and I don't think she can be a help fight. Unless, well, she can, but she's badly injured. Right. I mean... Well, uh, I'll flank them. Okay. So, by the way, I still have those cinnamon rolls, right? Um, cinnabons. The cinnabons, unfortunately, spoiled in the dungeon. Aww. Aww. I didn't even eat Just them. fucking kidding. Eat the cinnabons. Recover health. Okay, how many does it take for me and Tara to I don't know. How many cinnabons did you have? Ten. Ten? Uh, they go <laughs> 1d6 plus 2 health over the duration of a minute. Okay. Yeah, those are some fucking magical cinnamons. You fucking stuff yourself. Each of you regains <laughs> 5d6 plus uh, 10 health. Just roll uh -oh. 5d6. Can I take back 10. that use of potion, dude? Oh! Yeah. 5d6. Yeah, okay, fine. 13 plus 10, that's 26. That was also the wrong roll, Tara. It's, it's 44 plus 4. 
Yeah. All right, so five. I rolled four d four. Yeah, but you didn't do the plus four, so you, how are we gonna know if it <laughs> tell you it was fifteen? Uh, so you heal for twenty three, Maram Show, and you heal for twenty nine. I... Okay. All right. Are you are you ready, Ninja? Okay. Call me plot device. Yes, plot device. Um, I think that was the first hundred I rolled on a D percentile dice for you guys. Do you have? Yes, it, I, I'm reasonably certain so. Would Would you prefer that I make a distraction? In which direction? Oh no! Attack them. All right. On the count of three. Uh, the Wood Ninja is gonna stealth. Give me a second. With advantage, because he, uh, because I really want him to succeed this. Thank God. Alright, so the Wood Ninja, which I now have to put on the map because he did not exist. <laughs> that was a great roll. That was a beautiful roll. That was the best roll ever. He comes to here, and he raises a kunai. One... Wait, do we roll initiative? Alright, so this ninja is a ninja, and Koga went into monk, so he didn't have this. But this ninja throws a kunai, it ricochets off of this wall, and hits here. And then it detonates, casting silence. Uh, let me, let me clear initiative. I'll put you in as 23, though, Maram Show. And then I need to figure out what music I want to play. I went into monk because I like uh, I know. monks. I know why you went into monk, but you can't bounce kunai off walls. I know. And I wanted, I want, I want to thanks. I just don't. I'm not good at coming up with ideas. I'm, I'm kind of stupid that way. It's okay. Stuart is amazing. Stuart is. Shut up, Stuart. Um... <laughs> <laughs> Stop ruining my puzzles. <laughs> And Tara, well, that wasn't we even the first way I figured out how to get past them. Yeah. Like, I'll tell you at the end all the ways I was thinking of through. Okay, Tara, while they're doing this, try inching over so that when when we enough that when we clear them, you can come up. Hopefully, we'll do this before. Hopefully, the guys here won't know because of silence. Alright, so Terra's at a 12, Man Show got a 23. You guys have a surprise round, by the way. Okay. Wood Ninja, do you need to reopen? Gets a lot. I mean, you might not. As an issue actually kind of sucks. No, it doesn't. Um. These fellas. The age old question Who wins? The Weebs or the Crusaders? Team Weeb! Dies Wult! Do Maram Show. Uh, one second. This is this is a silence field. Sound cannot pierce through this. Don't go in here. You can't cast. All right. First of all, this. All right. And so you surround with energy. All right. That's that's a bonus action. So. It sure is. And do I, I get, I get advantage. You get advantage on the first attack you hit. Okay. Alright, so you hit with the first one. Alright. And who are you aiming at? This dude. Spearman. And I'm shoving him against the wall. 
I don't know what. All right, so the first one hits him. He gets shoved against the wall and takes 15 damage. The second one misses. So the first one, second one, into the door by him. Uh, what additional damage? And roll a 1d6. Okay, 1d6. Move. Okay, so you dealt 18. Nice. Uh, he yells out in uh, outrage. I told you they'd come! And now it is Woodlander's turn. He's going to run over here. What are you going to do? <laughs> CC. That's what he's going to do. Because... Wood Ninja are really good at being assholes. Um, so he runs up, he attacks this guy with his Odachi. With advantage. I guess we better get... Yeah. Uh, he misses. Wait, does he miss? Yeah, he misses. So this guy manages to duck underneath surprise Odachi. And then he looks at this guy and throws this and thunk and hits the wall next to him. Unfortunately, it does not take effect. But that does mean that the charm is not consumed. Now it is your turn, Terra. Ma'am Show. All right. We they, have this. That seems a good spot for you to stay. Oh, Maram Show, you <laughs> forgot to act as Ro. Oh, right. I'm Ro, reminding you because I don't want you to die. Okay. Ro is going to do her combo multi attack. That's one bite and one sting. Wait, she's invisible, so that's. Yeah, she's a, she has advantage on. Uh... First one, right? So the first one breaks invisibility, the second one will take her out of obscurement so she has advantage on both. Okay. So just re-roll. Alright, neither of them hit. Dang. Tara, your turn. Mirms, you've been a great ally to me. Just a little bit more. We can do this. Can Inspiration! Here all out of Miram Show's eyes, and she's I knew you always believed in me, and I believed in you. And then Schmaltzy starts. <laughs> Don't get too sentimental while you're about to kill people. Damn, sentimental over terror, not the guard. No, oh, I know. It's your turn again, Miram Show. Uh. Can I Not do, quite. Can I do, oh, right, yeah, it's Terra's turn. Terra's turn. Sorry, what, Terra? Can I die from where I'm at? Nine, ten. I think I can. Can I shuriken this one from where I'm at? Uh, yeah. Uh, Ooh, if I have. If Rogue has any snacks, okay, then. You have advantage on it. <laughs> You might want to use your advantage attack with Erixil. You don't have Erixil. Erixil. Yeah, they have they have all of their equipment. Okay. Tara has you Erixil? said Erixil was not in the pile, with the investigation but check. after you get everything, it's everything. Erixil was just buried. You also didn't all right. Cool. With the investigation check. That's a very fair and still strange point. So, mm -hmm. five, ten, five. I can stab him from here, right? Yep. You stand in my way. You have advantage on the attack. Don't, don't announce yourself. <laughs> yeah. Creepy, creepy. Lightning blade. That's a hit. That's a hit. Ah. 
Alright, does he die? <laughs> so the first one was 3d6, second one was 2d6, first one was... Okay, so yep, it's, this. it's all correct damage. 22, 19, uh, 41, 53, 58! Yeah, so how do you want to kill him? Ooh. Upward thrust in the arm, pull back, stab in the chest. Right, Be slumps. gone from this land. He slumps against the wall. Now it is your turn again, Maram Chug. Okay. So, Eldritch Blast throw. Okay. Don't want him running to tell anyone. Who are you, Eldritch Blasting? Uh, this, this dude. Alright, uh, second one hits. And it's repelling, so he's getting pushed this way. Nope, Maybe into uh, this guy. Push 10 feet. As right, so he gets repulsed that way, roll 1d6. And what kind of damage? Fire. Ooh. And he's singed. Now does the Wood Ninja's turn again. The Wood Ninja is going to run over here and roll his multi-attack. Oops. So he attacks this guy. Hits. Six of damage. <laughs> Excuse me. He sneezes. He's going Bless to you. use his... Uh, feature to attack this guy. And this. But, he does still get his Kasarigama attack. Takes out the scythe portion of his Kasarigama. Spins around. Attacks this guy with it. And... This is again. So, he's doing pretty good keeping their attention. Not doing too good DPS wise. But he did get one guy. Now it's your turn, Terra. Well, he's attacked. Yeah. <laughs> I don't want to use another three charges of Aerosil right now. So, let's. Well, I suppose at least stab. Hmm. hmm. Which one? Let's stab at that boy. Alright, you stab at that guy. <laughs> yeah. You miss. Why do we keep missing? <laughs> Now they get to go. This guy attacks. Oh no. This guy immediately recognizes you, Terra. Says, You're the one on the bounty. Makes two chops. Actually, yep. he's gonna For try good reason. And, he's gonna try and shove you. Uh make it strength saving throw. You are knocked prone, and then he's going to make his attacks, so he has advantage on him. For good reason. What? Oh, no! Of fucking course. Both of those hit? Yeah, both of those hit. What's your AC? Uh, you, can, you can't cast shield on other people. No, 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 no. So you take uh, 26, 30, 35 total damage. <laughs> so he just pushes you over, buries the axe, like, into your stomach, and then rips it out and slashes it along your shoulder. Oh. 
Uh, oh. he, he sort of sees this and he's like, ooh, ooh, he has to look away a little bit. And then it's this guy's turn, and he just got attacked by the wood ninja, and the wood ninja, wait a fucking minute! What's up? Did the wood ninja Eric? actually hit? Wait a fucking minute, you might not have taken any of that damage. So as this guy goes to attack you, the Wood Ninja uses his reaction to shove this guy. <laughs> Straight saving throw, Mr. No. Axman. Alright, so if this beats a 14, you don't take any of that damage. It doesn't. He gets shoved down. You are, you're fine, Terra. Because, uh... The nine does not hit you. And you can only make one attack. Wait, no, he could have made both. But I have to reroll the other one since it was a crit. Yeah, he, <laughs> he doesn't hit you. Whew. Now we just have to have I'm the on those posters for good reason. I suggest you stay back. Uh, now it's this guy's turn. He's dead. Your turn, uh, Maram Show. Um. Alright, which one's dead? Spearman. Okay. Axie Dude Boys. over here is getting the full brunt of it. Um. Eldritch Blast! Alright, that kills him. Okay, then the other one is getting. Blast and a row to the face. Alright. You have disadvantage on the Eldritch Blast attack because oh. he's prone. You have advantage right. on Rose attacks. That's so weak. Okay. Advantage on Rose attacks? Advantage on Rose attacks, disadvantage on Eldritch Blast. So roll another Eldritch Blast and see if okay. Rose crits. So it doesn't crit, <laughs> it hit. I'll take the higher damage, and then roll sneak attack from Ro, 2d6. Okay. And then he has to roll con save. Yep. Right, so roll another Eldritch. Okay, he succeeds on the con save. Yay. Look at all this bullshit in the chat. Alright, so he, he hit him for 14. Ro hits him for 8 plus... 16 plus 10. Holy shit. Uh, 34. Alright, so uh, you knock him against the wall, and Ro just goes in and tears his throat out. Oof. They did. Alright. Good job. Combat over. Uh, the Wood Ninja nods your guys' acquaintance and says, You two are quite formidable. I think this is the way out. There's also another door, but there's some guys there, and there's and there's some sort of freaky ritual. Um, go Actually, ahead and roll to loot these guys. Oh wait, okay. that's me. Uh, yeah, that's, right, that's your thing. Alright, or Spearman? Axeman. Alright, other Axeman or Spearman? Spearman. Last Axeman. You do yeah. not find another key. This door. That door, the key you have does not fit. Okay. So, we can try to go over this door, or we can go to the other door where there are... Ro, report back, invisible. He's invisible, by the way. Yep. Okay, so Ro says there's hey, hold, hold action. Up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Okay. So Ro goes down Ro there. says... That there's an Axeman, a Roll Spearman, stealth. and some sort of mage. Roll stealth with Row. Okay. Right. Did I accidentally... That would... That's a dex... Alright, 
Alright. You succeed. Okay. So there's an axeman, there's a spearman, and then there's a chanting caster. Alright. Do you think? Tara, roll history. And I'm describing what the circle looks like. Star and all that. Weird symbols. I should roll history, too. I'm a teacher. I should Um, do No, you're completely unfamiliar with that, Maram Show. Okay. That looks to be a divination war caster. It's likely that they're communicating with someone. That one. They're communicating with someone, likely. Divination. We use them all the time. And if these guys don't have the key, we're going to have to go down there. How are you feeling? Um, like Mr. Shit. Plot device? The Wood Ninja, the wood ninja sort of just looks down and says, Call me Moga. 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 <laughs> God damn it. How are you doing, Honorable Moga? He holds you up a hand. You feel well enough to take on... I will stay with you for now, but until my strange Clan of the Mist alter ego finds himself in your company again, I will have to depart. Okay. <laughs> what was that? What? <laughs> <laughs> and Can you cast silence on the mage? He Go didn't down. cast silence. He threw a, uh, a kunai with a silencing charm. Right. And Can you throw a kunai with a silencing charm on the that was unfortunately my only one, and it was okay. necessary for that fight. Okay. So, it may be that if he's down, I would have to turn myself invisible, I think. I'd have to be out of the uh, Terra, divination, war casters, see through invisibility real easy, especially when they're casting. Um, Miss Merrim Show? Divinations can kind of see the ability, so I wouldn't waste that. Perhaps I should try being. I feel. Perhaps like we just need to or... hurt them. Yes. All right. Alternatively, have you even tried picking this door? Uh, it's uh, got. An it's even, got a weird, different even kind of lock. Bigger, even more complex kind of lock. Okay, they can't see me from here, right? Uh, no, but this is where we're gonna end the session. It's five. Okay. But, wow, that was really unexpected. Uh, yeah, you got a 100. You found a wood ninja. <laughs> I wasn't expecting I guess... it either, guys. Right. Guess I have to wait till next week, huh? Sorry. That's okay. That's cool. Moga. It's of a trying to escape, so... It's not like, uh... <laughs> It's not like we had an entire you talking to Izanagi episode. True. I feel bad for Robert or Stuart. <laughs> yeah. Like I said, we'll probably have the first couple, two to three hours ish, dedicated to Leo and Fuyuki. We'll have a uh, brief spritz into you guys just to just to keep you entertained, but. <laughs> Boy, this was nuts. We gotta get them their cave delving done, because they got a lot of cave delving to do. <laughs> yeah, this was a... Uh... Uh, Stuart, before I stop recording, do you want to tell the uh, class about your ideas on how they could escape, and I'll tell you why they wouldn't work? <laughs> sure, why not? Okay, so, uh, you had... But when you only had invisible rope, my idea was, hey, these guys are deep, have dealt with a lot of yokai. Yokai do fucky things, and you have an invisible spine that can project your voice anywhere. They can't find them if they're dragging them around, so you just start fucking with them. Once you had minor, once you had minor illusion and throw voices, um, I would have just started uh, fucking with these guys. To Distract them, make them start investigating. Alternately, you could have drawn them all here, and then gone through. Well, Merim Show couldn't have. Yeah. But show could have hidden back here. You could have drawn them in here, and since you, the door. you could have just lock the door. All right, but 
Miram Show would still be stuck in there. No, no. You would be hiding here. Okay. You drop them in here. And then you lock the door. Honestly, I think everyone that... Everyone except for the caster. But if I... Terra got her got Ericsil before you did that, uh, Terra could have killed the caster, because the caster is super squishy. Um, and then you could have done that super easily, yeah. Unfortunately, then you would have had to figure out these doors, and the keys for these doors are not easy to get. <laughs> Good sense, oh, no. guys. Uh, I'll know that you could have went the Batman route and got these guys so paranoid and then make it sound like these guys were summoning a yokai. Okay? Oh. Yeah, you could have done that. See, that's why I that's that's why I'm good. Next time I get captured in the hills, I'm gonna take Leah with me. <laughs> Leah has a good idea. <laughs> I am gonna tell you, like, what percentage done do you think you are with this dungeon? Oh gosh, not even 25% no doubt. Thrown into the deepest, darkest cells? Come on. Yeah. In terms of enemies killed, or in terms of squares traversed, which one do you guys want? Uh, enemies killed. Enemies killed, so you've killed three. I think we're going to want to inter interrupt this ritual. Honestly. You are just a little under 25% done. You're about a fifth done. <laughs> Which means there's 12 more enemies. I said just well, about. It's we can use we can use some trickery and stuff. And you get rid of some of them probably. Ninja, so I might just rebalance the rest of it. Or I might just make it a cakewalk to appease the dice gods. So they <laughs> never make me give you a, an NPC again. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, foreboding question time. What you guys want to ask about? How did the wood ninja get... No, just kidding. I, am... I don't even <laughs> know the answer to that. <laughs> I am te I am tempted to ask... Uh, to since, there's no since Uzu now has nine tails, does that mean... Since Ozma has nine tails. As Ozma now has nine tails, is that because Amarasu is incapacitated, or is that because she's dead? Do you really want to know the answer to that? I think I already know the answer to that. I personally... <sighs> I think I'm going to keep that one to myself. Probably for the best. Any give him two questions in return. Okay. Okay. I, I, I will give you two questions in return. Follow up stipulation then. When did they all get on YouTube? Uh, this would have been. During your guys' ventures in Omanatwe. It was after Anshin. Okay. Not ominous at all. Okay, I have to use main what you guys can have the other one. Okay, Eric. I got one. How salvageable is this thing with Izanami for Koga? Uh, because I don't want you guys to lose the campaign, I'm going to say that it's locked behind a boss gauntlet. Well, Koga has a plan. All right, you might be able to save it behind from being locked behind a boss gauntlet, but right now it is locked behind a boss gauntlet. You have to fight through some real big primordial yokai in Urumasimata to get this thing back. 
to get a spare blade back, it didn't just fall like... I mean, you have to look for it, and it's pretty explicitly inhabited by guardians. Yeah, but I thought I fell down the side that actually fell in the... Um, well, I don't know if or you are the guardians it, there, were, there, there were staircases that went around the outside of Urumasimata. Koga went up one of them. Oh, are the are the Terra's an idiot and Koga has questions. So the giant <laughs> room you were in, Koga, that had a guardian. You wanna ask? Had. What, uh, well, you're not in the room anymore. Guardian's still there. You wanna ask a foreboding question about that fella? <sighs> Hmm. Hello? Hi. Alright, my ride's here for Doomsday, so uh, I gotta, gotta get, get... Good session. Peace. Good session. That was... Even if terror. Oof. That was a session. That was a session and a half. Alright, uh, can I ask a different foreboding question? Yeah, you can ask whatever you want. How successful do you think? Well, can you tell me how successful Shen's campaign to unite the ninja will be? Um, I'm assuming you're gonna help him with it. Uh, Koga would really like to do that. No, yeah, that, that's, uh, that's kind of like a quest arc I've got planned. He's not doing it himself. Yeah. Well, Koga's got a lot on his plate right now. He's got to save his friends. He's got to salvage his. Yeah, he's how, 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 do think, up. how do you think he's not, how do you think you're gonna salvage it? Who has the other relics? Indeed. Yeah. They're linked. Yes, yeah, so right. I, I would say as far as that goes, uh Shen's not doing anything until you accept the quest. Wink. Uh, okay, okay. Alright. If you wait that long enough me... he will, but like if you wait long enough, everything will just die. So. <laughs> Anyways, good session. Unless there's any other pressing, important things you guys want to ask, I'm going to peace out. What would the reaction have been if Rekha had went in her little rant? If Rekha had what? When her rant. Rant to who? Izanami? Yeah. Uh, it depends what your intimidation role was. <laughs> There's a decent chance Izanami would have been like fine because you're in Sayatsu's line and Sayatsu was her personal favorite. Oh, that's nice. Yeah. Yeah, no, Reiko was one of the few people Izanami would sit through getting yelled at by. That's unfortunate. <laughs> Alright, see you guys. See yeah, see ya. Yeah.